This illustration deals with other precautions for personal activities. In accordance with 70E 130.8A1 through A3. Now, notice uh, we are dealing uh, with 50 volts or more in accordance with 70E 130.1 on page 24. Uh, the appropriate PPE has been selected. Uh, the electrical hazards have been defined by this person in accordance with uh, Article 100 on page 11, uh, as, the, as electrical hazards uh, are defined there. Uh, the note one, the employee uh, must not perform job task where he or she is impaired uh, per as outlined in 130.8A1 through A3 on page 39. But notice this person has gone through the information uh, in this note one and they've done their testing. Uh, it's been, the equipment is shown in this call out has been placed into electrically safe work condition in accordance with 120.5 uh, on page 23. Uh, so the equipment uh, is in electrically safe work condition and it's de-energized. Now this purpose of change mainly was a revision that was accepted and added to recognize the term electrical hazards as defined and used throughout 70E as well as the term uh, when and where it is used. Now, uh, 70E uh, committee members want to be consistent with the uh, definition of electrical hazards and also, to let the user 70E know there may be more than just one uh, hazard such as electrical voltage and current. Uh, there may be mechanical, pneumatic, uh, other type of uh, hazards that the, uh, the employee performing uh, the testing and placing the equipment into electrically safe work condition. Uh, they must know these hazards and how to deal with these hazards and how to avoid these hazards in accordance with the definition of a qualified person in Article 100. Now, anytime a person, as you see in this illustration, test and uh, on energized circuits and equipment, uh, they must review the energized rules and 130.2c on page 24, 110.4a and b on page 15, where equipment is energized and what would be the exemptions, exceptions to the rule, uh, but mainly working on energized equipment at 50 volts or more or less than 50 volts can be found uh, in uh, 110.4 A and B on page 15. So review those very carefully before attempting to work on energized equipment to start with and then make sure that the plant, the facility where you work, just exactly how much energized electrical work will they allow to be performed uh, in, in a particular uh, situation. So uh, be sure that you check that out, and that's what this illustration is pointing out, and a person should not be impaired in any way where they don't have full control over the members of their body that they are using to perform a certain task.